Also first at four, the big story everyone was talking about yesterday, that major winter storm that swept across our state. We had everything, hail and snow and rain and sleet across the valley and the high country, causing traffic jams that knocked over trees, down power lines, and just caused a huge mess. And a big thank you to our 12 News weather watchers who sent us so many incredible pictures and video from all over the state. People up in the high country woke up buried in snow, and now that the storm is on the way out, people there are finally starting to dig out. They have a lot of digging to do. Team 12's Adriana Loya joins us from Flagstaff. The crews are slowly making their way cleaning the roads and sidewalks. The frigid temperatures will keep northern Arizona coated in white for at least several days. Working around the clock and keeping up with the snow has been the cycle for crews in Flagstaff after the latest storm left fresh new powder in the high country. I'm from Miami. I'm used to hurricanes and humidity, not snowstorms like this. Tony Rodriguez was up visiting the Grand Canyon now delayed by the strong winter storm event. Uh, I love it, it's nice to play with, but not to work in. Although he's not sticking around, the snow will. We're gonna go well into next weekend uh, before we see any melting, so uh, this snow's gonna stick around and roads are gonna stay snow packed and icy for a few days this week. The beautiful sloppy mess keeping public work crews working 12 hour shifts. In downtown Flagstaff, a way to clean up the mess Tractors piling up snow in mountains and hauling it to Francis Short Park. Meanwhile, on the highways, slick, dangerous conditions. ADOT announced closures of numerous highways, urging drivers to halt travel and use tire chains and 4x4 vehicles only. And aside from keeping you safe, it also gives the plows more time to actually be out clearing the road and not having to worry about the cars around them. Public schools did cancel classes today in Flagstaff and surrounding towns. Some COVID-19 testing sites did halt operations while, while others still continued. Reporting in Flagstaff, Adriana Loya, 12 News.